Remember when I said that we felt like we spoke different languages? Well, when we had to talk about my code, my hazardous code, that's when it really felt like that. Ah, sorry, this is something I left in for cartoon effect. Uh, let me try to remember some of the words that were coming out of her mouth. Don't worry, work safe. Ah, it sounded something like, Christine, CPU is up, and throughput is down on half the nodes in the Cassandra cluster. What did you do? Uh, you're all in, and you're all in the audience at Velocity, which means that you actually know what this means, and you're like, ah, well, obviously, this is how you fix it. At the time, as a developer, this is what that sounded like. CPU and database write latency didn't mean anything to me uh, as an application developer. I didn't know immediately how to map that back to my code. I didn't know what to do to fix it. Um, I, didn't, I mean, it sounded bad, I didn't even, but I didn't really know how bad it was. Uh, but, you know, 2012, in the face of ops being angry at me, I was like, okay, okay, I'll, I'll use your tools and I'll get really good at scrolling through your dashboards and trying to find that one graph that, that does this at the same time as this graph you're actually upset about does this, and maybe, maybe I can be helpful. We kind of limped along like this um, until we started wondering how we could make these graphs that I was trying to use feel more natural to me. And the thing that enabled this the most was introducing the terms that I cared about, the terms that made sense to me that would allow me to map things back to my code, things like build IDs, customers, endpoints. Because it turns out when ops comes running to me saying, Christine, Christine, the latest build that you shipped increased API latency by a factor of 10 for our biggest customer on the most expensive endpoint. Ah, OK, well, now I start to have an idea of where am I code to fix it, what the impact is, who and what, what use case is, is triggering it so that I can write a test and, and, and do my thing and, and push out better code. And it was, it was this realization that, OK, we can have one type of tool start to feel a little bit more like the other that started to enable me to peek over that boundary unit production and feel like it wasn't such a big, scary world after all. Because it turns out I could learn to care about production. I could finally figure out myself what was happening, mapping it, map it back to the segments of the customers I knew about, and jump straight to, ah, OK, great. Let me try to, let me, let me, let me dig in. Let me, let me fix it. 